So just scrying the Aether of Tan. And the governors just come about me, once again coming about me in a regular polyhedral formation. So this, uh, at first it seems as if they're coming as a um, as a tetrahedron, then as a five cell, and then as a six cell, um, including respectively Mopsama, the angel who delivered the instructions for the Book of Silvered Leaves, as well as my holy guardian angel. And it, in particular, they're looking at my HGA, and it's like they're showing two sides of the same coin. I have two names, uh, and one of which is relatively similar, uh, interestingly enough, to John Dee's good angel's name. But regardless, it's interesting, um, and I'm sort of feeling... Um, so it's like this light feeling in my back and the back of my neck. So this is, once again, paralleling um, the vertical uh, helix the ascent through this. And what I'm noticing is, um, so they're showing me this light coming off of one side uh, of my holy guardian angel and then the other side, which is more dark. Um, but both of them, it's the same angel. It's, it's just, you know, um, the effect of one thing causes the other or a background foreground or whatever the case may be. So the light is showing um, this field. And again, there's, there's a very verdant feeling to a lot of this. This makes sense. I mean, for much of this, I've been, um, Venus has been transiting uh, Taurus. And so this, this springing forward with life is very on brand, as it were, for, uh, for visions, but it's sort of like this is all being rolled up now. Now that now that the Aether vision has been called on this, so to speak, it's sort of rolling up and it's showing a more fundamental um, field of possibilities, let's put it that way, almost as if you were to look at like a 2D grid and then there's potential almost within space-time, such as with virtual particles, stuff like that. So um, so they're trying to connect the two now in my mind, and they're noting both, you know, the, the ascent allows to see, one to see more things from below, or below oneself, um, but it's almost like they're saying, look, this is teeming with possibilities. This is, um, and even just now, uh, this, this evening I made, uh, a lunar mansion talisman. And even now they are telling me like, this is the first of many good things. And this is something that, you know, the, the work that you're doing, everything is building off of everything else. And so when you are doing good work, it's building off of others. And when others have done stuff, it can help you. It gives you things to build off of. And when you are doing good stuff, other people can also build off of what you do. So I've probably said the same thing three times or one and a half for each, but um, the, so, and I'm getting this sense of this field as being literally elevated above the actual earth plane. It's almost as if that same pole about which there is a spiral, it's, uh, it's got on top of it, this larger plane, and they're saying, not quite like a Buddha field, but perhaps a pathway into one, or a pure land, or whatever the case may be. They're saying that the concepts are not entirely interchangeable, but from, from Tan in particular, entryway into Buddha fields, if that is what one wishes. So that's good to know. Buddha, Buddha fields, and I'm asking Buddha field or Buddha land in particular, a pure land. And I'm not getting a clear answer, but I will, I will wind up looking up both afterwards and get clarity in the, in the description of the video. So anyway, so 
it seems as if now there's this rotation upwards. So if you could imagine like a nut coming undone off of a bolt that is has the flat side at bottom and is pointing upwards, basically. A bolt, if one were to unscrew it, it would like ascend. And so I'm getting the sense of this happening with this large aether. And the sense I'm getting is, is that this is going to feel like a magnet upwards. So um, just to continue to be soft, but right now it's like everything is very copacetic. Everything is looking very good. Um, again, it does help that I have that, you know, both benefics are in a very important place in my chart right now. Um, and so I'm interested in all of this and I'm asking what else there is to do. And they're saying, just rest, exercise as you need to, but also rest. So I'm asking if there's anything else and they're just bidding me be still. And once again, they're going to work on my subtle body system. And I allow it. And, and it's just like I'm getting this great sense of peace and calm. What I'm being told is a lot of what you didn't ask for is going to be offered down to you anyway. Specific to the Lunar Mansion working. So I'm very grateful for all of this. And I'm asking if there's anything else. And they're saying, no, just be calm. Just allow. Things are falling into place. So I'm very grateful to this, uh, to them for this, and thus ends the vision.